Hi, you guys, I'm Phil Town from Rule Number One Investing, and today I want to talk to you about stock market corrections and stock market crashes and how you stay rational while this stuff is going on. So anytime the major indexes start heading down, we say they're turning red for any kind of ongoing period of time, it gets pretty stressful out there for people who are watching their retirement accounts start to go down. It's really important you understand how to invest properly so that you can stay rational during these times. And understanding how the market talks about crashes and corrections is also useful for you to kind of, you know, read between the lines of the marketing that's going on trying to hold on to your money. So let's just talk first off about the difference between a correction and a crash. Frankly, I don't care about the difference between a correction and a crash particularly because I'm not that interested in what the overall market's doing in the first place. What I'm really interested in is can I buy wonderful companies on sale and are the companies that I own starting to be priced at really stupidly high prices? In that case, I'm kind of interested in maybe selling them. And in the case where maybe they're on sale, I'm really interested in buying them. Otherwise, I'm no more interested in what the market's doing than I would be if I own a farm out in Iowa and the guy next door to me is shouting over the fence every day prices that he'll pay for my farm. Hey man, I'll give you 8,000 an acre today. And about 10 minutes later, he's going to be, hey, I'll give you 8,100 an acre right now, right? I mean, that would be stupid. I'm out there farming. Why would I listen to this guy? I have no interest in selling my farm at all. Now, if he were to say something like, hey, man, I'll pay you $1,000 an acre for your farm. Well, oh, okay, wait a second. If he's willing to pay me a thousand acre for my farm, would he be willing to take a thousand an acre for his farm? Because then I might be interested in buying it if it's a really stupidly low price. Otherwise, I don't want to hear it. I don't care what crazy price he's going to put on it. I just want to farm my farm. That's how you should be thinking about the companies you own in your portfolio. So we don't care about these things called market corrections and market crashes. What we care about is that we have capital to buy companies when they're cheap and that we get to hold them for a long time while they grow us a fantastic, a fantastic retirement. Now, we are at what is probably considered the very edge of the end of a bull market. In other words, right now you're going to hear a lot on the news about is this market going to go into a correction and go down a little bit or is it going to crash and go down a lot? So if you want to know a definition between correction and crash, it's down a little bit versus down a lot. And does anybody really know? And the answer is no. Very important to understand that even if we think the market is stupidly highly priced right now, it can be irrationally highly priced longer than you have money if you start betting against it. So we don't really worry about that too much. What we do worry about is that the companies that we're trying to buy are impossible to buy. And the companies we own are so highly priced that it's very unlikely that we could continue owning them and make a high rate of return every year. In that case, I might take profits from the last time the market crashed and I got to buy a bunch of great companies. As I recall, that was 2009. So here we are almost 10 years later. It's time for me to start thinking not about a market crash, but about the valuations that I have in companies and the price that the market's putting on them. And if I have a valuation that's here and a price that's crazy higher than that, I might be interested in selling that and then waiting in cash to buy it back super cheap. So I'm going to tell you guys that while we don't worry about market corrections and crashes, what we do think about a lot is, is it time to be in cash? What we want to have, as Warren Buffett says, is the ability to take advantage of the occasional major economic storms that come into the country. These storms roll in every five to 10 years, and these are called recessions. And 31 times we've had recessions, 30 times the stock market has crashed before the recession started. So this is an opportunity for us to be thinking about, can I get cash together 
and prepare myself, not for the correction or the crash, but to simply own companies that get very, very cheap if the market goes down aggressively. Now, this is what Warren Buffett talk, talks about when he says, right now, what you want to think about is that in that economic storm, in that economic rainstorm, it is going to rain gold. And when it rains gold, what he means is that the prices of companies that are really great are going to come down like a brick. And when that happens, that's gold to buy those super cheap. So in order to do that, he says, what you want to do when it's out there raining is you want to go outside, not with a thimble, but with a giant wash tub. Now, what is a wash tub? A wash tub is cash, my friends. And the guy that's suggesting that you'll want a big wash tub currently has $116 billion in cash. The largest amount of cash he's had by over double of any previous market correction or crash we've ever had in the last 60 years. So this is an incredible time to get ready. We don't want you to be worried about market crashes. What we want you to do is be thinking about getting cash and being prepared to buy a group of companies that are on sale. Now, how do we do that? Well, that's a process of learning to invest properly, rule one style. We love to teach you that anytime you want to learn. Uh, go to our website, ruleoneinvesting.com. You can come to a workshop there. We're happy to teach you for free. But we really want you guys to learn this stuff so that you're ready to make money in the next time that starts to get a big gold rainstorm. So you guys, we'd love to hear from you. Do you think the market's headed for a crash right now? And what are you going to do if it is? Leave a comment below with your answer and I'll be sure to follow up with you. So thanks for watching. Now go play. So you guys, if you enjoyed this video and you feel it was valuable in teaching you more about, you know, crashes, corrections, and what to do, hit the like button and please share this video with your friends. And if you want more investing content, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the button on the screen for a free gift. Thanks again for watching.